morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Arise here at RCCG, the King's Palace, Katy, Texas. We are coming to you live from 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas, 77493. My name is Sharon Awana, and I am here to welcome you all to this segment and to the service. It is an amazing, amazing time to be in the presence of God. And I just want to say thank you to all our friends, our family members joining us here in the United States and also all over the world. It is so great that you are able to tune in and be with us this Sunday morning. This month is a very, very, very special month because it is our anniversary month. This month is also the beginning of the new quarter for us, so it is just full of amazing, amazing things. So please stay tuned because we're going to have special guests coming to talk to you about our praise service that we'll be following in our anniversary. It is going to be an amazing, amazing time in the house of God. There's going to be lots of family events going on. There's going to be houses. There's going to be games. There's going to be food. There's going to be barbecuing. Like, it is just going to be an awesome, awesome time. So thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you are also sharing this with your friends and family members all over the world. You're also inviting people. You're also subscribing to our YouTube channel because that helps us get the word of God out to all those who are unable to make it to the sanctuary. So please stay tuned in. There'll be more coming up. Something big is about to happen. Coming from Katy, Texas to you and your families all over the world. The Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, Katy, Texas, is 16. We invite you and your household to join us for the celebration of the 16th year anniversary of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, Katy, Texas. Theme, Redemption. Starting Tuesday, April 19th to Sunday, April 24th, 2022. Come and experience fun and divine encounter in church in a way you have never seen before. The pre-anniversary events begin with the Anniversary Annual Sport Competition Outreach. Preliminary Anniversary Sports Heat on Friday, April 15th at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Anniversary Sports Heat Semifinals on Saturday, April 16th at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the Anniversary Sports Semifinals on Sunday, April 17th at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Main Anniversary Events commence with For the Crown Annual Interhouse Competition in Music, Academia, Creative and Theater Arts from Tuesday the 19th to Thursday the 21st of April 2022, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time daily, featuring short skits, animation, comics, spoken words, choreography, reading challenge, singing, playing instruments, live academic competition in math, English, current affairs, and much more for children and teenagers. Friday, April 22nd will feature the Anniversary Praise Night with special ministrations from the RCCG Kingdom Voices, the Kingdom Light Choir, the Kingdom Seed Choir, the prestigious The King's Palace Music Academy, and other anointed music ministers of God. Event starts at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Saturday, April 23rd is a day of fun-filled outreach events for the whole family, featuring community mega outreach with CDC-regulated social distancing and COVID-19 precautions. This day will feature three outreach in one, starting at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. The first outreach is food distribution to the community. The second, health and wellness promotion outreach and third, virtual immigration consultation outreach via Zoom. Then followed by the grand finale of the Interhouse Sports Competition, Parade, and Awards, starting at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time on the Sporting Complex of the Church. Sunday, April 24th is the grand finale, featuring our annual Thanksgiving and Community Awards in two services, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., Hour of Power, and 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., From Glory to Glory. Host pastors, Pastors Tunde and Shadi Badaru, venue the redeemed christian church of god the king's palace katy texas campus 5371 east 5th street katy texas 77493 all events will be streamed live on the king's palace youtube channel king's palace tv and on our facebook and instagram pages for more information call 281-391-7224 or visit www.rccgthekingspalace.org as we celebrate jubilate and felicitate bring your household and friends and get ready to encounter another level of redemption for greatness now and beyond. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the month of April 2022. 
I am so excited about what God is doing here at the King's Palace at 5371 East Free Street, KD 77493, and I bet you are as well. You know, last month, a pastor took us through a series uh, titled Eternal Life. Boy, that was one series you do not want to miss. If you missed it out, just go back to our Facebook, our YouTube channel, Twitter, all the social media platforms. We have recordings of those messages. You will be blessed. This month, we are going to be talking about the redemption. Isn't it amazing? From eternal life in March to the redemption in April. Before we go right into it, I'm just going to give us a few, few, few key points just to prep our hearts before our pastor comes in and shares the word throughout the month. Let's say a quick prayer. Father God, we want to thank you for today. Thank you for an opportunity just to be in your presence. Oh God, it's a beautiful day today and we are excited about what you have to do, what you're doing for us and what you will do for us in the month of April. We ask, oh God, that you speak to our hearts, oh God. Make our hearts, oh God, very fertile ground for your word to germinate and grow seeds and bear fruit, oh God, in Jesus' name. Friends, I am so, so excited. You know, our theme for the month is the redemption. I'm not going to be preaching. I'm just going to be laying some foundations uh, for you. I'm going to lay the foundation for you to, you know, just listen and be blessed throughout the whole month as our pastor starts taking us through this journey of redemption. The text for the month is going to be taken from John 3.16. We love this. I bet your two-year-old can actually quote that, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting or eternal life. See, this scripture, folks, is the essence of our Christianity. This scripture, if not, it's probably, in my opinion, the most quoted verse of the scripture. When you give your life to Christ, we get born again. Everybody knows the scripture. John 3, even unbelievers know the scripture. No wonder God has laid in the heart of a pastor to tag this month the redemption and tie it to John 3.16. Without further ado, I'm just going to take you through tie it to John 3.16. Without further ado, I'm just going to take you through this verse and point out three key things in John 3.16. Number one, action. Number two, requirement. And number three, results. Let's get right into it. So John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave, loved and gave, or you can say love and give. Those are very, very strong words, or some of you might call it verbs, action words. God had to love, he gave. You know, scripture says that we love him because he first loved us. It is very important for us to be redeemed that we understand that from his own free will, God has loved us and he gave. And he didn't just give, he gave his only begotten son. No wonder David said, I will not give God that which cost me nothing. And I could, I mean, that's his only son. So you can imagine what pain he must have probably gone through to say, hey, what? I'm going to give my son to the world so the world can be redeemed. On the flip side, he probably has so much joy in doing that. So love and give are very, very important components of redemption. And God has actually done this to us. I mean, some of us have children. You know, I have two of them. And sometimes when they ask me for things or, you know, when I want to be the dad of the day or the month of the year, I give. I show them love. As parents, we love our kids, our children. And we give as an expression of love. And that is what God has done for us through his son going to the cross to die to bring redemption. That's number one. Number two, I love this, requirement. Again, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him. That is a requirement. Now, it, it's not enough for God to just love and just to give. It has to be reciprocal. God has you. He wants you to believe. In him, he wants you to believe in that love that he has given to you before you can have redemption. So let's not just put love and giving in the parking lot. It's got to be topped up with believing in him. Now, it doesn't matter what you need in life. Redemption of your soul, of, 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 of maybe whatever the devil has taken from you. God wants you to believe in order for you to be redeemed. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him. I understand sometimes believing in God, you know, 
It's difficult. The Bible says that Abraham hoped against all hope. So trusting and believing in God is pretty, pretty difficult. But I can assure you that God has given the grace for you to believe him after he has given you his love. Amen? Key point number two. No wonder the Bible says that, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. That's in Revelation 3.20. If anyone hears my voice and open the door, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. There is a requirement for you to do something to be redeemed. Open that door of your heart. Believe in God. Believe in his promises. Believe in the love that he has given you. I understand you're going through tough times. I am as well. A lot of people are. As a matter of fact, the world is. But he still wants us to have the component of believing in him. Number three, result. This is my favorite part. You will have eternal or everlasting life. Whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal or everlasting life, as another scripture or another verse of translation will put it. No wonder the pastor took us through eternal life in March. So again, for us to have eternal life, we have to believe in the love that God has given us. We have to know that for us to have eternal life, God has given us love. God has given his son as a ransom, as an exchange for us to have eternal life. So I love the part of result, eternal life, everlasting life. All of this action, requirement, re result, they encompass what redemption means. But again, you have to believe in God. You have to believe that he sent his son to die for you and I. You have to believe that he sent his son as a token of love so that you can be redeemed from that addiction. You can be redeemed from that uh, bondage. You can be redeemed from that shackle, whatever it is, from fear. You can be redeemed from everything that the devil has put in your heart. You know, I read somewhere that fear means false um, uh, expectations appearing real. So they're not real. God just wants you to believe in him and you would have eternal or everlasting life. Again, I'm just laying the foundation for what God will use the pastor, a, a senior pastor, Pastor Tunde and Shadi Badru to talk about throughout the course of the month and a few other ministers as well. But my job today is just to prep your heart and make you understand that God loves you so much. He wants you to believe and the result of believing in him in his promises, in the love that he has given you, is everlasting life. Is you been redeemed from what the devil has taken from you? Is you been redeemed from your past lives, been redeemed from sickness, redeemed from shame, redeemed from failure, redeemed from whatever it is that might be in negativity in your heart and in your life and around you? God wants to redeem you and I. Let's say a short prayer today. Father God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love, oh God, that you have shared in our hearts. For you love us so much. You loved us so much that you gave your only son, Jesus, to die on the cross. This morning, we release our hearts to you and we believe strongly that the reason you give Jesus to us is to redeem us from sin, from sickness, from shame, from pain, from poverty, from everything that the devil holds us captive with. Today, we believe in your grace, in your love, and we ask, oh God, that you redeem us, oh God. If we're bound by any addiction, if we're bound by any feelings of the enemy, today, because of our belief and our faith and our trust in you, we receive redemption in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Help us, give us the grace to continue in this redemption spirit throughout the rest of the month. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friends, I'm excited. For this service, I'm excited for the month. Please, please tune in, log into our Facebook channel, log into our Twitter and every social media here at the King's Palace and be blessed, be blessed by the numerous teachings about redemption for the month of April. And I pray that you be redeemed and completely redeemed in Jesus' name. God bless you and I look forward to seeing you in the service. Thank you. Due to the COVID pandemic, the Maracanã Sports Center have been put on hold, but now we are... Welcome back. So I have two of my favorite people with me here today. And I just want to say shout out to Uncle Demeji for that great word that he gave to us. I hope you are all listening. God loves us. God really, really, truly loves us. So I do have two of my favorite people here this morning. To my left, I have the one and only 
minister, pastor, media director, choir Hallelujah. director, Somebody band give, director. Let the church say amen. 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 Tunde Alameru. <laughs> and to my right, I have my very, very special and beautiful mom, choir director, leader <laughs> in the house with me this morning. So first Good question morning. is, welcome, welcome. Why are we dressed this way people you're probably wondering you see us in the adidas gear adidas if you're watching go ahead and shoot us a sponsor uh -huh. thank you very much but for you pastor tino why are we in this adidas gear this morning no i think we should give respect to him respect is due pastor auntie why are you dressed that way <laughs> <laughs> okay i am dressed like this way and they are dressed this way because it is our anniversary week in the rccg the king's palace Katy, texas and we're going to be having a lot a lot of sporting activities oh, yeah. which is unlimited in age yes uh-huh you know some people on the fifth floor are wondering ah, what's this woman doing don't worry about it come <laughs> see me on the tracks and you'll be surprised that's right that's right <laughs> by the way she'll over. be competing for um are you in powerhouse? Tell them. Tell them. Powerhouse. By the blood. Yeah. Those are the 77493 that Pastor has been talking about, right? Yes. Yes, <laughs> The winning <we> team. <laughs> All right, Pastor Tunde, over to you. So we know that the anniversary is full of sporting events, but there are also is a crucial part, which is our praise night, which is going to be on the 22nd. So just give us a little bit of insight into what that's going to look like. I was almost going to say, I think Pastor Ronto should take that again. But I know of a shorty that, that we're going to have a lot of guests. It's going to be a wonderful night. It's going to be a praise night. That, that 22nd of April is a Friday. So it's from 9 p.m. It's really going to burn, gonna be awesome. Where are the likes of Gabriel? Is he? Is he oh, yeah. Pastor Ronto, what are the names? Oh, we have Sandra Martins joining us. We have the TKP Music Academy. Yeah. Wow. You're going to hear all manner of sounds of worship. We have the Kingdom Voice. We just come out and worship the Lord with us. You will be blessed. And of course, the easy does the fun care. Tiki ta, tiki ta, tiki ta. Tiki ta. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So another thing is that for those of us who aren't going to be able to make it into the sanctuary, what would you advise that they do? If maybe if they're at work or if they're busy at home or they're not feeling too good that day. Just plug in our channels okay. as they should. So go ahead and give us some. You know what you should do? The Bible says that where we praise God, he dwells there. Whatever is going on with you and you are within the Houston metropolis, you have no reason not to be in the sanctuary. But you are beyond Houston. Maybe you are two hours away from us. Then you can join us on YouTube. You can join Facebook Live. It's going to be from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. And whatever is going on with you negatively, the presence of the Lord will turn it around. And it's, so, it's also important to let you know that King's Palace will be 16. Yes. As in wow. 1, 6, wow. 16. Great. Sharon, how old are you? 14, right? <laughs> Sir, my age, I'm 22, by the way, but not oh. six, not 14. <laughs> So we just wanted to say thank you all. Thank you both so much for being thank here. I am ex excited beyond belief yes. about the praise and the worship because that is going to be the high, one of the biggest highlights today. of our anniversary. And also today, first service begins promptly at 8.55. Make sure you are tuned in to our YouTube channel, our Facebook, all our socials, please, please, please tune in and share it because you are going to be blessing somebody yes. and you may not even know that this is what they need this morning. Yeah. So thank you so much. Service begins. Join us. Right. Put your dancing yeah. shoes on. Get ready to praise God. Amen. See you guys soon.